Hello people, this is Matt Fisher back with another exciting video for you guys today. As always, and I hate Apple's music app. I think it is the worst app they have ever designed and it just seems like every iOS update, it just gets worse and worse. The user interface gets worse and navigation gets worse. The whole user experience gets worse. So I was on a quest for a long time to find a better music app and I did find one. I found the best music app, and I talked about it in a video that I made a couple weeks ago, my What's in My Phone video, so if you had seen that video, you know what app I'm gonna talk about, but if you didn't, get ready for the surprise, because this app is the best music app for iOS. So this music app that I claim is so much better than Apple's that I love so much is called Cesium. So what I wanna do is I just wanna show you guys the app, just give you guys a brief walkthrough, and then I'll show you guys the two big reasons why I prefer this app over the Apple Music app. So the interface, it's very similar to how Apple's app used to be and how you might expect a normal music app to be. So, you know, you have your artist section, albums, songs, playlists, you know, in the songs, if I want, I can sort. Maybe I want to sort by date added instead of sorting by title. You know, you have very basic options. You have your playlists. More, if I want to change this bottom bar, I have free reign to do so. So I can do edit and maybe I want to uh, pull audiobooks down. Oops. Or composers, whatever. I can pull whatever I want down. Let me actually put that back to how it was. So very easy to change. Uh, even in the settings, they have some excellent settings. Excellent settings, just the best settings, let me tell you. Um, but no, they're, not, they're not any great settings. They're just the basic settings you would expect from any app. So I can show iCloud items, or I can turn off iCloud items. I can sort by uh, album artist. I can customize the appearance if I want. I can do a night mode. I can make this red. I can make it blue, orange, and I can even, you know, get crazy with the shading and whatnot. I can do whatever I want. They have a landscape mode. So even though this isn't an iPhone 7, or even if I had like some other crazy iPhone, I could still do landscaping with this music app, which you couldn't do in the regular Apple Music app. So I don't think there's any other awesome settings in here, but that's pretty much it. And then obviously, you know, the, the playing interface, I can see information about the song. I can set it to shuffle. I can control the volume. I can look at my queue. I can add it to the queue, edit the queue. You know, these are all features that Apple's music app has, right? This, this app isn't doing anything special. It's just doing it in a much simpler way, in a more user-friendly way. Now, the two features that this app does that are so important to me, let me show you. So if I go into the Apple music app, and I want to look at my songs. Here is a list of every song I have ever had in iTunes or that I've bought in iCloud. Here's everything. It's all there. And maybe I only want to see music that is solely on my phone. I don't want to see all this iCloud stuff. I don't want to accidentally tap it and then have it start downloading and start using my data and all that. They have a downloaded music section. Awesome. Cool. So I'm in here, I'm looking at my songs, but as I scroll through, I still have this stupid bar at the top saying, showing only music on this iPhone. I know this is only music on this iPhone. This section is called downloaded music. It can only be music on my iPhone. And I know this bar isn't intrusive, but it's just annoying that it's just constantly there. It, it, you know, it's impacting the... Uh, the user interface a little bit. I don't need to be told that you're only showing me music on this iPhone because one, that's only what I want to see right now. And two, I know that that's implied because of the section that I'm in. But aside from that, I wouldn't even say that is the biggest issue that I have with the Apple Music app. My biggest issue is, uh, I don't know about you guys or what section you'd like to be in, but I like to look by artist. So I pick an artist and then I pick a song by that artist. 
around, I think it was iOS 9 they made this change, that instead of going immediately from artist to song, it now goes from artist to album. So if I have an artist that I have a lot of music for across several different albums, like the Dropkick Murphys, for example, not only do I need to know now the song that I want to listen to, I need to know what album it's on. And sometimes it's like, oh, is it on this album? Nope. Is it on this one? Is it on this one? Nope. And fortunately, you know, if if you like a band this much that you have all this discography that you probably do know what album it's on, but if it's, you know, a couple one-off songs, you might not know. And I shouldn't have to be responsible to like know all this information about my artist. Now, in Cesium, if we go back to the settings, we already see that it's not showing iCloud items. iCloud items have been turned off. And if I go to songs, look, there's no bar. There's nothing telling me like, hey, we're not showing you iCloud stuff, just so you're aware. But even more so to the fact, if I go to artist and I go to, here, I'll use the same artist. Let's go to the Dropkick Murphys. Boom. I have all the songs. There's no albums. There's no second screen I have to go to and then go to my songs. I get all my songs right here. So I can just click one, play. I don't have to know the album that they're on. I don't have to memorize the artist's discography. It's just simple. It's just quicker. And these are obviously very minute, small annoyances. You could easily deal with them, but it's almost like I shouldn't have to. And this isn't the way that it's always been, right? These are things that Apple added to their app over time, and in my opinion, has lessened the experience for me. Maybe you listen to only iCloud music, and maybe you listen to songs and you don't listen to artists first. I don't know, maybe these two problems don't impact you, so this app you might not find is great, but I love this app. Not only does it solve my two biggest annoyances with the Apple Music app, but it also gives me a slew of other features that I wouldn't get, like landscape mode or uh, appearance, customizing, skinning, theming, all that stuff. So I will have a link to Cesium in the description down below. The one thing I do want to say about this app is that it does cost $2, but I think $2 is well worth, uh, at least in my opinion, fixes, fixing my two annoyances that I have with Apple's music app. I'm willing to toss a dollar at each of one of those annoyances. So the $2 price point, I know people don't like paying for apps, especially to replace one that's already free, but I think it's worth it in my opinion. But that's the video that I have for you guys today. One thing I do want to make clear is uh, I'm not being paid in any way to make this video or to say nice things about this app. I'm in no way affiliated with this app or the company that makes this app. I simply, like I said earlier in the beginning of this video, I was looking for a music app that was better than Apple's and this is the one after testing a bunch of them that I thought was the best one. So I'm just giving props where props are due. I'm not, you know, in some sort of promotion with them or some affiliation or anything like that. If I would, I'd make, let you guys know. I want to be very transparent about that because I know there are some people who aren't and it's a big issue on YouTube and I don't want there to be any grayness. I want it to be very black and white where I stand with that. So other than that, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to click on that subscribe button. Enjoy the rest of your day and take care.